Yeah, oh, let me turn that off for a second. Anyway, we got a good story right here. Richard Rod to stand trial for murder of Officer Dan Rocha in, in Snohomish County. Most of us remember the story. Rhonda's defense attorney asked a judge to move the trial out of the county where Officer Dan Ro uh, Rocha worked and was fatally shot last year. Attorney argued for change of venue in court Friday, citing past media coverage initial plan to Rotter to plead guilty as a problem for selecting potential juries. Crazy, crazy. Let's get to it. Rotter has pleaded not guilty in the case. A judge went through a summary of what his attorneys are planning to use as a defense today. He said they'll be arguing diminished capacity and self-defense for the murder charge. The judge determined that we could not show the defendant's face in court for today's hearing, but we were able to follow their proceedings. That is essentially the primary defense concern. In court, Richard Rotter's defense attorneys argued for change of venue, citing past media coverage of an initial plan by Rotter to plead guilty as a problem for selecting potential jurors. And the moment one juror indicates they've heard that Mr. Rotter planned to plead guilty is charged, that is a level of pain that cannot be undone. The prosecution argued to keep the case in the county, saying that in other high-profile cases, jury selection hasn't been a problem. I've constantly been shocked by the lack of information that a lot of the potential jurors have regarding the case. The judge determined the case would stay in Snohomish County for now. Today, I'm going to deny the motion to change venue without prejudice if it becomes clear that it's going to be difficult or impossible to see a jury of Snohomish County citizens, then it can be renewed, or I'll renew it on my own motion. The judge also ruled that two sets of body camera footage will be allowed into evidence. In the first, footage from Officer Rocha's body camera shows him interacting with Rotter in a parking lot before he was shot and killed. The second shows Rotter's arrest by Officer Devin Hackett, who testified during the hearing. When I arrived at that intersection, uh, the subject we were pursuing now identified as Mr. Rotter uh, had crashed. Hackett said his body camera captured Rotter's statements. The first thing he was saying was that they're after me. And they're chasing me, he's kind of repeating that repeatedly. I find that all of those statements are admissible. The judge also reviewed what prosecutors will argue as motive. The state's theory for the motion, the motive for the killing, is that being directly related to the defendant being in possession of a firearm, having a large amount of drugs. And discussed an expert witness that will testify in Rotter's defense. So the defenses to count one are diminished capacity and self-defense. Uh, the defense for counts two and for three is general denial. The defense expert opines as to the inability of the defendant to premeditate, but concludes that the defendant had the ability to form the intent to kill Officer Rocha. And the judge says it's expected it will take a week for jury selection. The prosecution estimated that they would likely need at least three weeks for the trial, which will include around 50 to 60 witnesses. Back to you in the studio. Yep. Glad they didn't try to change the venue. That's a, it, it, I've seen cases like that where the defense attorney wants to change the venue like that because they're afraid that the jury might be tainted or, or maybe jury selection might get like this kind of class or that kind of class. Glad they either kept it in the same jurisdiction, same county would have happened now, it should. You know, it doesn't matter how much I peace out.